Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a Mike's Positively Technical World video review. Today we're going to be having a look at a cellophane wrap box. Yes, um, hopefully, <laughs> if all things have gone to plan, inside this box should be, inside this packaging rather, should be a hotly anticipated product. Oh yeah, definitely is. It's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, I forgot, you can't see. Uh, good old camera angles, you're fixed and you can only see what you need to see. Not the back of my head, by the way. Ladies and gentlemen, the works WG855E. Um, a very, very hotly anticipated product for 2023. It's uh, pretty heavy, actually. <laughs> so we're trying to maneuver it. Uh, let's try and get an angle where you can actually see it. That'd be the front of the box, Mike. Yep. Uh, so what is it? It's a brushless scarifier aerator slash verti cutter. Um, it's, yeah, it's probably gonna turn around and save you an awful lot of time and effort if you're going for a nice, decent finish on your lawn. Um, it's got a total of four settings. It's brushless. It runs on 40 volts, so two 20 volt power share batteries. Here's two I prepared earlier. Um, and yeah, it's, it, it's, it's pretty, a, a fairly unique. I say it's fairly unique. Unique means only one of uh, by its nature, but there's not many other, um, cordless or battery powered um, scarifiers out on the market. A lot of them are mains powered or petrol. Uh, I think there's only about two other brands who make a cordless uh, version out there. Certainly from my re research, I've only found two other brands. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be quite an interesting product. Um, let's just not talk about it, let's just crack it open. I think I'm gonna have to do some assembly, so you guys are gonna get some fast forwarded bits in post editing. And uh, you guys want to just come in a little bit, come in a little bit, that's it. You never really get to see unboxings, how they're meant to be unboxed, so enjoy. And of course I always get in the way of the camera. Orange and black from Slice there. And when you open it, the first thing that greets you is the instruction manual. And because we're going to be doing a bit of assembly, we are going to read the instruction manual because we all love a good instruction manual, don't we? Um, that's written in French and uh, that's also written in lots of different foreign languages and trying to figure out what it says is sure it's about batteries and not disposing them properly. Uh, yeah. This, this, this is all written in French. This could be interesting. Petit hotel. Uh, yeah. It's all written in French. That's interesting. I'm sure it's meant to be written in different languages, but hey, huh? I'm sure it says dispose of, uh, dispose of your batteries responsibly. It's got the works three years limited warranty, which is a two year standard uh, warranty, uh, 24 months from the purchase period up to, and extended by a year. Uh, that's two years only covers for, um, for trade, I believe. See terms and conditions. Obviously you've got the standard leaflet, but ironically, obviously on the leaflet, it doesn't include the, um, the scarifier because it's two newer products. This is obviously the works helpline numbers, obviously in various different countries. And then you've got the absolute Bible uh, of a product guide. So by the looks of this, we're gonna have to assemble the handles, the grass box, and install the applicable Versi cutter or the scarifier blade. We are going to be doing both the scarifying and the Versi cutting in this video. Um, I'm trying to keep it as quickly as possible, but it's quite a high detailed 
uh, product to go through. So it may lag on a little bit. I do apologize for that. And uh, how to get rid of the debris that might build up, how to adjust the heights, how to start and stop it, how it folds away for storage. All of the lots of different health and safety bits and pieces, quite a lethal potentially piece of kit if you misuse it. So please do take your uh, time to go through them all. It also, typical works fashion, on the first page somewhere, there you go, there's the point outs, and then you have to skip forward several pages to get what they actually are. You've got the operating bale, start button, handlebar, upper handle, handle lock knob, lower handle, grass collection bag, height and adjustment lever, lower handle, lock lever, lock cover, sorry. Battery pack cover, safety flap, cable clip, middle handle, power cord, cylinder lock knob, blade cylinder, tine cylinder, carry handle, and the battery pack, which of course in this version, because it's the dot nine version, doesn't have one. Uh, batteries obviously would take around about two hours to charge each, unless you've got a fast charger, in which case charge times will be faster. Um, like I said, I highly recommend you use the four amp batteries. If you have any experience doing scarifying, you'll know it's extremely hard work to do it manually. It's even harder work on the machine if you use a, uh, a petrol powered machine. Um, so yeah, just bear that in mind. But here's the, the bag. I've put together one of these before, not this particular version, but the, the, the fabric bags, and they can be a bit tricky. Clip in there. The bottom one, oh, it's a little bit easier this one, I think. He says, ha. Yep. Got that one in. Wee, that was fairly easy, I'll give him that. Pretty restricted. That's a 40 litre capacity bag. It's a little bit finer material than what the mowers are made out of. Put that to one side. Oh yes, it has got plenty of bits in there. I can just see a sea of, of bits and pieces poking out, but this is just packaging on top of the, uh, the battery compartment. You'll see in here, it's got the standard uh, flip up battery compartment. You don't have a notable safety key in here. Uh, that I can see you obviously see on the WG730, the W749 and the works WG761. You've got these pretty cool twist knobs. These are gonna be for adjustments uh, on the handles, up or lower, I'm not sure. Rip these open. They look like they're an M8 thread. They usually got a, a bolt in the back of them, they have here. Probably if you wield it, you probably could just get the bolt out. That's clipped in place on the inside. And it's actually got a description on the inside where you can see in the light, it's uh, clockwise for lock, anti-clockwise for unlock. Fantastic. And uh, there you have it. Another bag of various clips and pieces. It's gonna be quite heavy on putting it together, I think. And uh, well, first of all, let's have a look at the uh, what's in the box, Dr. Fox. And in the box, we have. The Tyne Scarifier cartridge. And uh, as it comes around, you can see they dig in. These are actually quite sharp and I wouldn't say dangerous, but they're uh, certainly got a bit of poke behind them. If you were to catch them on your skin or your clothing as they go round, yeah. It's not gonna be a nice day for you. So yeah, let's, uh, I think we're gonna keep that in the box and then we will start building it up. So of course the most smartest thing to do right now would be consult the instructions. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do like every typical person would and go, yeah, I know what I'm doing. Of course you don't, Mike, you really don't. Now I have actually 
confession time. I have actually had a a quick look ahead. Obviously, I do do a little bit of research before I let myself go, obviously, in the uh, real world. Actually, let's try and get this where it should be. Before we go and put the handles on, we're just going to have a look underneath. And there we can see we've got the the Versi cut blade. That opens, the blade simply slides out of the square drive at the end. And the first thing we're gonna do, spoiler alert, is we're gonna scarify. Because you should really scarify first, actually you wanna cut first then scarify and uh, close that up and you just gently screw that in it doesn't have to be overly tight it's there just to clamp in the end piece it's not there to physically hold it back if you like it's just there to make sure it's tight enough um, and then let's get it on with these handles shall we so, handle one is going to fit in there. And then you're just going to take the screw. Just insert it. There is actually some guide markings on here. see them you probably can't so I'll bring you in there's guide markings here that show three different points and those are probably the uh, rough guess the three most comfortable settings however you can for purposes of folding away set them at other points as well And then these wonderful clippy bits. I've got such wonderful terminology, haven't I? Clippy bits. And look, it's got a cable clippy bit. And it's got four of these cam clips. These cam clips, quite obvious how they work. They just cam in place. Okay, then I suppose the next bit is this looped mid-handle. You can't really see it in the frame because it's too big, but there it is. And then we're gonna have to figure out how on earth these work. Right, we're gonna try and install the mid-handle now. It just goes in here. This bolt, which is a M8 coach bolt. Actually, I think it's an M6 coach bolt actually, but it goes through there. Then this washer goes profile side against there. And then this just simply rotates and screws on the end. We'll just put one in the other side. Okay. <laughs> Two bolts. Got to be quick with this one.
Ouch. We'll cut that bit out, yeah? And there we have it guys. Like it. So when you want to put the catch collection uh, in place, uh, it's got these two bars that stick out that fix into these two slots here. And just simply slots in there. Probably one of the easiest uh, methods of attachment works we've actually ever had. Very cool. Um, the works WG855E has got th uh, four different settings. They are plus one, which is plus six millimeters, zero, which is minus three millimeters, minus one, which is minus six millimeters, and minus two, which is minus nine millimeters. For the purpose of scarifying, which is the first thing we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing a plus one, and that is a, uh, a plus six millimeters uh, cut. I say cut, scarify, scrape, whichever you want to call it. What do you call scarifying? There you go. Question for you all to ponder late at night. So there we have it, we've fully constructed it. Right, in the front flap here, we can insert our fully charged, and also um, more importantly, when you're using two batteries together, you should usually try and make sure that the serial numbers on them are one after the other. That helps keep them in pairs. And of course you use them then in pairs. So there we go. I'm now gonna take you guys out to the uh, the front lawn and uh, we're gonna scarify it and verticut it. It's uh, probably not the best time of the year for doing it, if I'm honest, but um, well, needs must. I'm sure it'll be fine said nobody ever <laughs> let's go for it okay guys so before we get started with it there's two things we need to make sure number one it's not wet although the storm clouds are looming it's still quite dry very dry but we do need to take it down to 20 mil so for that we need to go a mower that works WG761 should do just fine and we now need to cut this at a lowered height of 20 millimeters um, we need to do that so that way it gets the best opportunity to get all the thatch out let's uh, let's give it a go on the side and then walk through this place slowly move.
we just um, finished doing the scarifying side of it. Uh, I'm just going to quickly go over it again with the, uh, with the mower just to collect some of the grass because some of it has actually brought up some of the finer stuff. It's actually quite long. So I'm just going to go over it again once more with the mower. You'll get this sped up so don't worry too much about it. But um, then we will return for the, uh, the Versi cutting. Free and none of the spines, spines, tines, tines have been damaged in any way, which is good. They have raked up a lot of function dust. So. <laughs> We're going to start at the top, set number one, and work our way down. Obviously, I took both batteries out. We changed the blade for safety. Right. Do some birdie cutting.
there you have it. Um, scarifying adverse cut is over. Batteries, I'm not going to be surprised if they're one bar. They're one bar a piece. Um, they're also quite hot as well. Um, it has gone through two sets um, in the process of doing this. Um, I had to do a set yesterday because unfortunately it didn't really show in the footage but it absolutely hammered the other rain uh, towards the end of doing the uh, scarifying, the raking part. Um, so I had to come back today, wait for it to dry out there. It hasn't fully dried out properly, which is why it struggled with some of the clumping with the mud. But guys gotta do what guys gotta do. I'm now gonna go and oversee this and stuff. It's not really a works rated thing. But um, I will report back uh, to the usual social medias um, on the condition of your lawn when I've overseed it and then raked in with it. And uh, yeah, just generally see how it does. Um, I will quickly show you, it does do quite a bit of damage. Visually, it looks a little bit ruined, but what I've actually done is uh, cut air sleeves basically into it, and hopefully that will allow it to breathe nice and easy. And uh, yeah, most of those humps and bumps are actually ant hills, so I've probably got rid of those as well at the same time. Happy days, I'm gonna go and oversee this and I shall join you for the wrap up. So guys, the wrap up on the Works WG855 Scarifier Versicutter. Uh, it scarifies amazingly, it also versicuts amazingly. Uh, I didn't think it would have the power behind it to actually do the job, even though this does, despite it being brushless. If you uh, have a look, compare it to the other products which you can buy out there. This is made by Wolfgarten. Uh, it's a manual scarifier, you have to pull it and push and pull and push and it sort of bucks and tines. It does the job, but I tell you what, you know you've done this for the next week afterwards. It's a workout. It actually also is probably the reason why I've got a bad back at the moment. And also, if you get stuck on something, you can see here, the tines are actually bent out of shape. Um, not an ideal piece of kit. And for the 40 quid you actually buy this for and then about 20 quid for the handle at 60 quid it's a workout and if you, that's what you want and you're a, a gym junkie and you want to do that go for it not for me <laughs> uh, i've also tried the oregon uh 16 inch i think it is blade uh, you can get um it does work However, I tried it on the uh, WG749 because it's the only thing I've got uh, that's um, you know a bit powerful. I didn't try it on the 761 because they don't do it in the size of the 761. This is the 16 inch blade. So I tried it on the WG749 um, and it chewed a battery up about every four ups and downs of the front garden. That's very, very, very juicy, very juicy. Uh, which is why I wasn't really expecting this to uh, in that specific bespoke designed product to do, it to do much better when it comes to battery actually. Uh, so it done a pair of um, batteries on the rake, which isn't really too bad at all. And then also a pair of batteries, uh, fully charged batteries on the VertiCut. Um, obviously the VertiCut's gonna take it out on it more because obviously you're actually literally cutting into the soil. I only went down minus three mil on the VertiCut. That's all that my soil needed. I've got quite light soil where I am. However, if you use it on clay, you may potentially need to go deeper um, because obviously it will need to take more obviously out of the battery and you might get a shorter run time. Uh, it's also worth noting as well, a couple of things which I kind of missed slash didn't know about. It's got a handle just below here and you can quite easily, it says, Picking up from the likes of waist tight is never ideal, but yeah, from the ground, picking up is very, very easy. It's quite well balanced as well. And uh, also it features um, like a, a low profile sort of slopes. It's not completely uh, flat along the front, but it kind of does uh, encourage uh, it to go over stuff. So it can basically, it's almost got like a, a forward lip here. Um, little tiny negatives. When I was going over the gravel, uh, because it's got smaller wheels at the back, that didn't go too well over the gravel. It got um, didn't get stuck as such. It just became very difficult to push. It's a very small negative on what is otherwise a very positive product. It's also extremely quiet as well. Um, a guy across the road was uh, using his jet wash and that was actually louder than this was. And I could hear his jet wash straight over the top. This is only 91 decibels uh, rated sound output, which is 
not barely shouting let's be honest um yeah it, it, it's it's relatively quiet uh, a lot quieter than i personally thought it was going to be and it gave the desired results i wanted it to so for me uh again it's another amazing product the works at the moment are just pumping out amazing product after amazing product and i'm really really super impressed with it yeah, it's a really really decent product and i absolutely love it um it's 229 pounds 99 pence if you buy it from Screwfix. Uh, however elsewhere at the moment it's 299 pounds 99 though it is quite a unique product being obviously completely cordless uh, everyone else seems to make them which are corded and I'll be honest with you, um, this is extremely good. It's brushless, it's completely cordless, and it's been a joy to use. It's very easy to use as well. So yeah, that's, uh, that's my thoughts on the WG855. Um, I'll put a link uh, below to the Works UK uh, site. Uh, unfortunately, I don't, I'm unable to actually put in uh, links to any other country due to the fact being they actually uh, VMP lock uh, the website so that way you don't accidentally try and order stuff from america to the uk because of course they have different batteries different chargers different plugs different voltage ratings completely um so to avoid that they actually just country lock it so whatever country you're in you type in www.works.com and it automatically directs you to the uh, the page of your country however the link may potentially still work i don't know i'll also link the uh the screw fix link for this uh, so you can potentially get your hands on it for the price of 229 pound 99 it's obviously a price which is correct at the time of filming um so yeah it may potentially vary in the future but yeah there you go guys as always like comment and subscribe i'm sorry this has been such a long one but I feel it needed it. Um, a lot of bits were sped up as much as I possibly could, but unfortunately it needed it because it's a lot of detail and obviously putting together as well. I hope you appreciate that. See you in the next video.